Robertson Fun Racing Pigeons, James here. Hope this finds everyone doing well. Story time. Band number 255. This is a late hatch off of Falco and Cantador hen, one of my last. Um, she is a carbon copy, basically, of Amelia Earhart. I mean, she really does handle just like Amelia Earhart did at this age. So today, we're gonna talk a little bit about this bird's story. Watch the second half of this video to learn about this bird. All right, I've got Cup of Joe and Little Blue here, fostering this pair. And one of them hatched like a good full day and a half before the other. And so now look at what we got going on here. We got a little guy and a big guy. So this is what we're gonna do for this little guy. Something's gotta be done. He's getting fed. But we need to get him his own set of parents because this guy's just going to end up stealing most of the food that gets dispensed from these two. All right, this is what we're going to do. We're going to put this guy under a pair whose eggs are going to hatch any day now. And I'm going to do it at nighttime. If I just went and stuck this guy under the pair, under the hen or the cock, you know, there's probably a 50% chance that they would accept it. If I do it at night, I have a higher chance that they will adopt that little baby. Because it'll just sit underneath them all night long. They'll get used to it. We'll try it out. Fingers crossed. This is an important pair. Nighttime. I'm going to get this small little baby put it under the nest of another pair. I'm trying to be careful here. I mean, it is getting fed, but still. All right. The deed is done. I'll have to check in the morning, see how things are going. Fingers crossed, this works. All right, it's morning. I'm coming in to check these guys. We're gonna check that youngster that we put up there. Ears open. Ears open. And they accepted that little baby. That's an important little baby. Purple Greek, what's the news for the day? We got a little baby up there. Oh, we sure do. Everything's going okay? Oh, yeah, good. Okay. Success. I had this bird fostered, the eggs. But I wasn't, I wasn't positive on the age of the eggs uh, between the two pairs. I was close, but I think I was it's between three days. But that played a factor in kind of some intervention that I had to do. All right, guys, today I'm trying something a little crazy. I've got these two youngsters right here that I fostered. I'm wondering if I got the timing wrong on the eggs. I didn't write down the dates, which I should have. Um, but yesterday I changed their nest pad because it was drenched. It was wet. And underneath them was wet. It almost seems like maybe their parents' crop milk hadn't come in. So the parents were pumping them mostly with water. I mean, you're, I'm starting to see more um, actual solid poop which is good so maybe they're they've made it past the worst even now when i'm looking at their crops it doesn't necessarily look you usually see kind of through that it's 
kind of this white cheesy. You can all see through their skin a little bit. Right, this guy actually has some seeds in there. I can feel that. This one feels like just, it's just liquid. So I'm gonna try and supplement them. This is what I'm gonna do. I've got a room temperature chicken egg yolk. I'm just gonna mix that and I'm gonna add some vitamins and probiotics to it. I'm just gonna add some of this Roanfried intro back in there and see what we got. But I am glad to see that we're getting some solid droppings. I was really worried about these two last night. I didn't think we were going to make it. This one's gonna make it. This guy, I mean, he's gotten this old, which is surprising. Let's just see. Here we go. Got that. We get a little bit of this stuff. Mix it in there. Obviously the egg yolk is rich and vitamins and proteins of its own, but I figure a little bit of probiotics and stuff can't hurt. And extra vitamins. I wouldn't do this if I didn't think that there was a problem. But I'm just a little bit worried about those two, so. Let's get rid of that Part. That's the meniscus. Just give it a good hearty flick. Heck yeah. Clean that off. I think we're ready. This stuff is kind of thick. We'll even see if I can suck it up. Oh yeah. It's sucking up. Sucking up just fine. All right. All right, this is gonna be a little bit hard to do. Hey, little guy. <laughs> yeah. I mean, they still act hungry. I don't think they're getting what they need to get. We're gonna try this, buddy. I'm sticking it down there. I'm pumping it in. Oh, there it goes. I'm pumping it in. I'm pumping that thing in. I pumped all that in. See that? Empty. Look, you can see it's kinda got some more yellow right there. We might just leave the big guy alone. I'm gonna give this little one an hour or two and see how that digests. Band number 255. This is a late hatch off of Falco and Cantador hen, one of my last. This is one of our birds that is available. One of the last few off of Falco and Cantadora hen that will be available from my loft. Two five five. What a beauty. She's gonna be great.